Hey guys, welcome back to Wolf Doubt Fallout 4. Now this is going to be another mod first look. It's been a while since I've done one of these. And I decided to show off a very, very well done house mod. And probably one of the best that I have seen for this game. And will more than likely uh, be a part of my actual playthrough because so far I've only decided to keep this one and the submarine house mod Dauntless in my in my load order this mod is bloody fantastic one of the best you get the key to this particular player house mod from Daisy we are here currently in Good Neighbor and Daisy is one of the shopkeepers in Good Neighbor. Now, if you don't know where it is relevant to Diamond City, it's right there. Good Neighbor's just, just on this little bit. There's the Boston Airport, uh, Rob Co. Sales and Service Area, Four Leaf Fish Packing Plant. Just give you an idea where Good Neighbor is, because it might be a little trouble finding it inside of the Boston City. We're right outside the third rail and the house mod is right here. It takes uh, very little space actually uh, from the actual vanilla area because naturally this just has windows and there's debris inside of those windows and that's it. So it just turns this a little bit into an actual house. Let's go ahead and take a look inside, shall we? Condo for sale. We already got that. Now it has a vending system area from one of the many terminals that is located in the player house mod itself and the vending dispenser comes in here so any items you order from the terminal will be deposited in here now the decor of this house mod is fantastic i do believe it has scripts that allow stocking of items so say you put ammo in a particular ammo rack then it will show up in that particular ammo wreck. At least that's what I theorize. I have yet to actually do anything in here. And there's dripping. Ambient dripping noises. I don't know what that's all about. Probably might want to might want to fix that bit. But this is the living space area. There are four floors in this player house mod. First, second, third, and basement. I love, I love the way he set everything up so beautifully. We always have ourselves a cooking stove for crafting right here. He has basically every single crafting uh, workbench in the natural game, as well as a few additions to it. So, so we're going to be taking a look at that once we get there. Uh, let's see, we have a dog meat <laughs> down here with the food bowl. That's pretty neat. I love the lighting uh, switches. If you turn off the light, it turns red. Turn it on, turns green, and it's beautifully done. Sorting chest. I think if you put your items in here, it sorts them throughout the, the player house mod itself. Christmas lights. Television. I actually kind of wish this television would showcase off uh, those little propaganda videos for your stats like strength perception intelligence and all that I wish it had that kind of like on repeat 
a little bit. Maybe just visuals, not audio. Or you could probably have like a little knob activator right here to turn on the audio for it. That would probably be a very neat idea if he actually ends up taking a look at this. And I like what he's done with empty paint cans and used them as planters. That's pretty cool. Little tiny scaled robots as chess pieces. The way he's laid out every single little tiny detail and stuff even added uh, screenshots of pictures here in Good Neighbor. Very well done. There's a note down here that welcomes you into the house and I believe it has like a little scripting thing that gets your name right at, at there at the top. So whatever your character's name it's directed to you. I thought that was pretty cool. There's some items in here that you're able to take like some of these but then there are others that are static and immovable. Let's go up to the second floor. Here's where you will lay out all your comics. It's even got weapon racks up here uh, just to showcase some, some special weapon builds that you might have. Here comes the, the robot model display shelf. I didn't notice that the first time I looked at this place. But that's neat. I guess it will script in the actual robots if you actually do find them and put them right there. Oh, that's, that's neat. That's pretty cool. Here, of course, is your bubble heads. I wonder if it will display because I have modded female bubble heads. Where is it at? Uh, stuff now, is it in here? No. Ah. Come back down. Oh, it does display the female modded ones. Oh, that is so cool. Nice. And it doesn't do an overabundance of mannequins, which I very much like. There's two up here and two in the, and three in the basement. Nuka-Cola miniaturized power armor statue. Let's see what it, what is this? Beer fridge. Grab a cold drink. Name storage. You also put a Nuka-Cola display rack right here that you will find in the Nuka-Cola DLC. The Vim power armor. I think it is a little messed up. I'm not sure if that's what it actually looks like, but it looks messed up to me. <laughs> Baseball memorabilia. go in more lighting more more displays you got yourselves your very own bathroom a shower right here sink to drink from mirror to look at everything's everything set up just nicely very your very own scripted name bed right here with your character's name attached to it Another terminal up here, and this is a lovely little Easter egg. Uh, the snow globes from New Vegas. Here's one from Hoover Dam. I think that will play in just nicely with my character in particular, because she is not the sole survivor. She is the lone wanderer from Vault 101. If the pink hair didn't give it away already.
And we go up to the third floor. Another terminal. This is the office area. Where you'll have a chemistry station. There's one up here and there's one in the basement. Uh, my first laboratory. This is one of the new additions to uh, the mod. I would suspect. I don't. I don't know. I don't, but this is this is not usually part of Fallout 4. This is uh, a throwback for New Vegas and Fallout 3. My first laboratory, my first infirmary. Heal you, remove rads, create new compound, detoxify yourself. Here's a barber chair. He implemented that, as well as a surgery chair right here. Very well done. Now this I don't understand. Is this the guest bedroom? I'm not sure. And I, I'm not sure if you could bring your followers here and have them stationed here. I would have to look at it in a little bit more detail. Looks like we got a couple of Easter eggs. We got um, Piper's hat, Deacon's glasses, we got Kate's corset. Uh, I think there's Nick Valentine's hat up there. Just just little throwbacks from other other characters. So this might be intentionally used as a a followers uh, place, but the followers have a much more nicer bed <laughs> than the one downstairs. <laughs> A very cool looking bathroom with oh I love this painting and the little rubber ducky or a swan <laughs> okay we got the third floor all set up let's go down to the final final area the basement Ooh. Basement has a couple of little goodies in there too. Mm -hmm. We got ourselves the weapon workbench right here with weapon display racks, armor workbench, armor storage, mods, explosive melee weapons, all kinds of stuff. Weapon storage, a couple armor displays, another weapon work rack, uh, energy weapon storage, a couple more displays for generic pieces of armor, a cluttered area, just to take up space I would have to guess. We got a door that leads to the third rail as you can very well see right here. armor displays. Uh, this one works as the power armor workstation while this one too works on the works as a power armor workstation it looks like that's very good very cool looking. Power armor mod parts. I would have to suspect that he has scripts up here that will show off power armor pieces. More than likely. Now this, I thought this was a pretty neat idea. Fusion core charger. Right now I have two in there charging and it takes a day for the fusion cores to charge back up to full. So you just place your fusion cores in there and then you turn it on up here. This is a very neat idea. Very unique. I thought that was pretty cool. A bathroom down here. Antler, who is Antler? <laughs> We 
we got ourselves a trash compactor. Just in case if you have any junk, just throw your stuff in there. I don't see a place to turn it on. I guess it does it automatically. Uh, this is one of the customizable things from the terminals. You can change this into a bench or a dog bed. I currently have it as a dog bed. We go in here, we have hydroponics, four carrots, mini moot fruit, and glowing fungus. Turn off the and on the valve. I guess this is where the dripping sound is coming from. Yeah. That's what it looks like it's coming from. Miscellaneous item searching. And here we got another one of those fantastic little inventions. The water purifier right here. Be advised, this purifier unit can use be once during a 24 hour period. After its use, it will go into recharge mode for 24 hours and cannot be used. I like that he put in those little tiny uh, details where it's not instant. The way he set this up looks looks fantastic looking. Lab terminal, and here's another. Here's the other chemistry station. I believe this is all what the mod has to offer, and this definitely will stay in. I will probably use this as a player house mod if I'm not using one of my settlements. Hmm. Well, there you have it. Good neighbor player home. Now, if you like the mod, I will have a link down below. And if you want to check out the mod author to see if he has done anything else, I will too will have that link down below. Now you guys stay furry and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.